Very simple. What I want to test today is first, the accuracy of the facts on pencil barrel. And the second one is how does it react uh, to the heat? So if you shoot a lot of rounds through it, it heats up. Does it change zero or what happens to the target? The setup I'm using today is a Watwood Stoner Do rifle with a 16 inch Faxon pencil barrel with a mounted PLX primary arm scope with a 6 to 30 power. I usually don't use this kind of scope on a 5.56 rifle, but for this kind of testing, I want to eliminate as much variables as I can. Maybe you noticed the shortened handguard and buttstock, and I will also eventually cut the barrel down to probably 12.5 inches, but more about that in our next commando setup video. After the initial zero, I shot the first five round group that turned out quite good, 2.1 MOA. The point of impact is a bit high, but that's really good. Since the barrel was just slightly warm, I shot the next five round group. Similar point of impact and just around 2.5 MOA. Now it's time to heat up the barrel. We can do this faster by mounting a suppressor and shooting a couple of magazines through it. Maybe some of you are wondering why we are heating up the barrel and why does it matter? With the very light profile, pencil barrels heat up faster and to the higher temperature, which often causes distortion and shift of point of impact. What I learned from Ian McCollum is that Faxon makes great pencil barrels because they have a special procedure to normalize and relieve stress in these barrels. After a couple of mags, the barrel was smoking hot. We quickly removed the suppressor and did another two groups of five rounds. This is a really good result. I was expecting much larger groups and much more spread. Well, the results speak for themselves. Good job, Faxon Barrel.